Effective at midnight, the restriction exemption program and all its requirements will come to an end. It is in the right direction, um, but they're still holding too much. We're, it's the same thing we did before, where it's like, we're going to do this in phases. I'm not, we're not going down that road again. It's all or nothing here. Let's, yeah. let's go. Adam Sos here for Rebel News, and we are in Central Memorial Park here in Calgary, Alberta, where thousands have once again gathered. Now, Jason Kenney has dropped the restriction exemption program and some masking restrictions for minors, but the facts remain that thousands of people have not received their jobs back. Thousands of people are still being excluded, and some workplaces are still testing. So these folks are standing in solidarity, standing together, and standing with those who are down blockading borders in Coots, at the bridge in Windsor, and at other locations across this country until all mandates, without exceptions, are dropped. Well, some progress has been made, but in the end, nothing has really changed. He said, if numbers go up, we're back to what we... We're at, so... Yeah. They're just prolonging what's going on. They are releasing slowly, but the most important thing is to not back up because it took us two years to get where we are right now, and we have huge momentum. Um, and do not buy in the fears that they are trying to put out there for people. It is in the right direction, um, but they're still holding too much. Where it's same thing we did before where it's like we're going to do this in phases i'm not we're not going down that road again it's all or nothing here let's, let's go so it's all mandates drop forever with no possibility of returning that's what people are asking for oh yes and even should they drop this right now like i'm not prepared to you know oh you did it you know yeah. but you know we're done no you're going to be held responsible for all you did yeah. we're not to make sure that this does not happen again a little too late. Not only that, last summer we were told we were open. We were open for the summer. It was going to be our business year. That ended up being a complete lie. We've been shut back down, forced into an authoritarian state. It's it's disgusting. We're loving everyone's out here peacefully rallying, and we want all these mandates to end immediately. say that there is a palpable shift as we make our way down 17th Avenue, the so-called Freedom Mile here in Calgary. Normally there would be quite a bit of heckling and rude remarks and maybe even some middle fingers from folks in the cafes and bars along 17th Avenue. Today an entirely different vibe. People waving, smiling, cheering, yelling honk honk in support of the folks here. A truly incredible scene. She's holding down the fort. Three little ones in Ottawa. So we're out here today supporting this absolutely amazing message. Hold the line. Freedom for our children. There's so many people right now who are just trying to get their voices heard. And uh, I mean, to see what, what's happening with the truckers, the way that the police are being used as political tools right now is, is horrendous. And, you know, it's, it's tough because I bet there's a lot of police officers on the other side who see their neighbors, um, you know, reflected in the people on the other side of that line. Um, and to think that, you know, you have to make this decision between your livelihood and your friends and family is, is monstrous. Well, Justin Trudeau keeps talking about putting an end to all of this, talking about enforcement, but it seems abundantly clear to anyone paying attention that this movement is simply getting going. We have been covering these stories since the onset of COVID-19, and I can tell you from reporting on these stories, the momentum is stronger than ever and will continue until mandates are lifted. I've had that assurance from countless people here on the streets. As always, I want to thank you so much for tuning in for this important report. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. If you agree with the thousands of people standing behind me here in Central Memorial Park in Calgary that vaccine mandates are fundamentally un-Canadian and a violation of our charter rights, go to fightvaccinepassports.com and contribute to our legal challenge against vaccine mandates. If you make a donation there, those funds go to a registered Canadian charity, the Democracy Fund, so you'll receive a tax receipt for your donation to the fight for freedom.